the star of Real Housewives of New Jersey, Teresa Giudis, isn't amused by the falsehoods made about her. Teresa is not afraid to defend her own interests and dispel the persistent falsehoods that bother her. Tree is unafraid to speak the truth, whether it is on her marriage to Louis Louis Orwellas or her fictitious relationship with Joe and Melissa Gamba. As the show's cast shake-up approaches, the The Star of Real Housewives of New Jersey original has clarified the record once more. Filming has been almost hard due to the poisonous dynamics between the cast, which stems from the dramatic season that included the climactic blow-up at Rail's Steakhouse. Teresa isn't going away with the program she helped establish, despite the fact that we all know things are changing. Teresa dispelled speculations that she is quitting the is the star of Real Housewives of New Jersey during a live appearance with Kelly and Mark. Teresa was immediately asked by host Kelly Ripa if reports that she was leaving the program were accurate. Truly, who started spreading those rumors? After answering, Teresa said, maybe some of my cast members. Although the Bravo personality refrained from naming names, it's not difficult to deduce that Teresa was alluding to Margaret Josephs and her brother and sister-in-law. No, I'm not heading out. The show was launched by myself. Teresa stated that I will depart whenever Bravo requests me to. Apart from the fact that she is, of course, the original, her response is the same as that of all the other cast members. Sirens Media and Andy Cohen are faced with a difficult choice, as all of the Jersey girls are adamant that they intend to stay. In addition to denying the report, Teresa talked about the cancelled season 14 reunion program. Teresa said there was something going on, but it's not typical when questioned about the postponed reunion. We are enjoying something, she said. We are doing something. I don't know what they call it. It's unclear what they will call it, so make sure everyone tunes in for that. The alternative reunion will not be a sit-down program as in years past, but rather a commentary style, as Monsters and Critics has previously revealed. As fans of The Real Housewives of New Jersey have witnessed throughout the previous several seasons, there was a lot of shouting, screaming, and talking over one other. So Teresa Giudis is okay without the customary reunion. You can read all about the spectacular season 14 finale, which Margaret shared, in other The Star of Real Housewives of New Jersey stories. The Real Housewives of New Jersey need to make changes in order to prepare for a possible 15th season. Melissa Gorga concurs. On Monday, Melissa, who stayed distant from her sister-in-law Teresa Judas, throughout season 14 admitted the show has turned toxic while talking about what Andy Cohen has called a different kind of reunion. Melissa was at Tyler Perry's divorce in the Black premiere in New York on Monday. Like Bravo, I think that reforms are necessary. Melissa said on July 8th to Entertainment Tonight, I totally agree with that. It feels like a noxious environment has descended. It is coming to light that two of my castmates have engaged in quite nefarious behavior behind the scenes. Everything is leaking out since it constantly floats to the top and ends up in the wash. Everything has been surfacing for years. Teresa and Jennifer Iden have been accused of information leaks and story planting with blogs in recent weeks. However, Melissa did not specify who or what she was referring to. Additionally, their plans to become friends with Jackie Goldschneider have been questioned on recent episodes of The Star of Real Housewives of New Jersey. Melissa responded to reports in May that there would be a relaunch with an eye on the upcoming new season. Bravo stated to the source that she was cool with whatever decision was made. My demands are non-existent. I make it to work. My connection to the show is so strong. With my own family and my own children. I'm okay in my own lane, and I'll deal with it when it comes to it, regardless of who they choose to cast or not cast. It all makes sense in the end, I believe, so that's the key thing. For a very long time to come, Andy remarked, it's one of those iconic Jersey endings that people will speak about. Following individual decision-making, the producers convened after viewing the final cut of the show. According to him, the last group encounter is reminiscent of The Last Supper and is characteristically Jersey. 
It follows the great heritage of surprising and dramatic Jersey finales. In addition, it's dramatic, frightening, and excellent television. You're going to feel satisfied when you see it, I assure you. I actually do. A substitute show will air in place of the anticipated reunion for fans. Ultimately, we will take action. It will all become clear to you when you see it. Melissa expressed her expectation that there would be some sort of reunion, even if it won't be a full-blown one. Also, Melissa Gorga, who has been married since 2004, discussed their time spent together at the event in her interview on Monday. Joe said she's great. She is very gorgeous. Just look at her. These are the moments I prefer to photograph. Making memories is something we like doing. According to Melissa, we both generate and preserve memories. We will say things like, Remember when I looked good and we were at that Tyler Perry movie premiere? When we are 80 years old and sitting in our rocking rockers. This is what we want to keep in mind. 